What's up everybody, welcome back to Swanky Disc Golf. I am Luke and today we are counting down the top five disc golf carts. Uh, just so everybody knows, this is a completely subjective list. We did our research uh, and we're bringing you our top five carts. Be sure to let us know in the comments below what cart you are rocking or what your favorite is. Let's jump right into it starting with number five. Coming in at number five, we have the Bag Boy Quad XL, which I know is not quite a disc golf cart and that's the main reason it's at number five is because it's kind of debatably a disc golf cart it is actually originally a golf like ball golf stroller um, but stroller gang is out here and it is growing i believe this is the stroller that big germ uses uh, like i said it's originally made for ball golf but it fits a disc golf bag really well and it also has a cool score scorecard holder you can hold umbrellas it can hold a ton of stuff and they're actually super easy to roll around uh, the price point is not too bad at this pretty much anywhere you look you're going to find them for 270 dollars which as far as disc golf carts go is not that bad that's why the bag boy quad xl is coming in at number five on our list before we jump into number four, I have an honorable mention, and that is DIY disc golf carts. Building your own disc golf cart is gonna save you a ton of money from any of the other carts on this list, and it is also made super easy by MakerPipe. MakerPipe is an awesome company that helps people with their DIY projects in all sorts of ways, but their main thing are connectors for EMT conduit piping, which is super cheap. You can buy it at your local hardware store. Uh, and so me and Josiah actually made our own disc golf cart. All we had to do was design our cart, and then we ordered parts from MakerPipe, which was super easy super fast shipping and they also make tools and stuff to make the job easier the best part about it is you only need hand tools and you'll be able to make it specifically to your own design your own needs and everything like that ours cost a little bit more than a hundred dollars but you can see we made a really big tough cart uh, and it actually was a little bigger than we planned on it being but the added benefit uh, turned out to be you can fit two bags on it. Also, if we go out to the practice field, we can load it up with discs, which was a big bonus that we did not foresee. MakerPipe actually makes a ton of different connectors, uh, and you can use it for any DIY project around the house, but you can also customize your cart in so many different ways. We actually drew up like three different designs. There's so many options. We went for a pretty simple design, and we absolutely love how it turned out so huge shout out to maker pipe big thank you for sponsoring the video you can find a link to their website and their channel down below be sure to go check it out like i said any diy project around the house it's going to help out with a ton but especially for making a disc golf cart it just made it so easy so cheap and yeah we seriously cannot recommend maker pipe enough check them out let's jump into number four coming in at number four we have the zuka easy cart the Zuka Easy Cart is just your baseline dolly system disc golf cart. It's really nice. It's a really solid build. It'll run you about $189 in its basic colors. If you want nicer colors or like the dynamic discs blue version, it's going to run up to $205. So the reason this is number four on the list is because it is over $100 cheaper than the next tier up of Zuka Cart, like the Zuka Cart Trekker, which is the one that most people are familiar with, is gonna run you over $100 more than this. So this is a really good place to start out. Uh, the downside of it is it's not gonna hold nearly as many discs. You can't sit on it, which is why a lot of people buy Zuka Carts. Uh, but for $189, that is really not bad. It's a great way to start getting your bag off of your back and onto a cart. Speaking of very simple designs, coming in at number three, we have the MVP Rover. The reason this is coming in at number three and just barely edging out the Zuka Easy Cart is because it essentially is a Zuka Easy Cart. I think the one thing the Easy Cart has going for it is, is it kind of has like, you put your bag on these bars and it has a little bottom compartment that is really nice to have. The MVP Rover does not have that, but it also is gonna run you about $20 cheaper. Uh, and it's gonna be like, a, I think around 160 bucks is where I was finding them at. And that's just a really, really cheap way to get a cart. And if you're looking like you're just saying, I want something to put my bag on, it's essentially a dolly with a telescoping handle. If you don't have a ton of money, you don't have a big budget for disc golf and you wanna just put your bag on something, Go check out the MVP Rover. It's barely edging out the Zuka Easy Cart, primarily because of price. Uh, but yeah, that's number three. Moving on to number two, we have potentially the first kind of hot take of the video. I am putting the Zuka Transit at number two. This is the newest cart out of Zuka's lineup. It is seriously an incredible deal. Now, like I said, most people are gonna be familiar with the Zuka Trekker. That's a very, very popular, possibly one of the most easily recognizable carts out there. 
The new Zuka Transit runs $299 on their website in matte black, and it includes a bag, uh, an insert bag that holds up to 25 discs. Now the Zuka Trekker is gonna run you $300 and it is not going to include the insert. I think the only difference really is that there is more covered area with the Zuka, Trek Zuka Trekker insert because the new Zuka Transit is a new design where it sort of favors that, like I said earlier, it has the sort of top part and a bottom compartment. And the insert is only really the top part of the compartment. The bottom compartment is open, so maybe it's as, not as much like covered storage. Uh, but it says on their website that this insert will hold 25 discs, which is incredible. Like I said, $299. It's a really solid build. You know out of Zuka it's going to be really high quality. It's going to have that insert with 25 discs. It's also going to be a chair. This is going to be a super nice sturdy seat if you're out at tournaments and you have a long backup or even just playing you know sunday disc golf where there's a ton of people out on the course the zuka transit is an incredible incredible cart out of zuka i'm so happy they came out with this design this is going to save you a lot of money because the insert for the trekker usually is going to run around a hundred dollars so yes zuka has two carts on the list uh, and they're both amazing carts but Zuka is not holding the number one spot. And before we jump into the number one disc golf cart, I just want to give another huge thank you to Maker Pipe and say again, the cheapest and in my opinion, best option out of all of these is going to be a do-it-yourself cart. I love these carts. And if you want to like leave it up to the professionals, you can leave it up to the professionals. But Maker Pipe seriously makes these DIY projects so easy. We got tools from them. We got all of the parts we needed. Our build took about 20 minutes after we had everything laid out, all of our parts measured and cut and purchased. It was such, such an easy experience. It was honestly super fun too, to just have that feeling of like, wow, we made a disc golf cart. It was mainly uh, Josiah. I say we, I was really just like holding the light. Uh, <laughs> Josiah really headed it up and made a really cool cart. So thank you again to Maker Pipe guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Uh, and also if you're interested in supporting the channel and videos like this, be sure to consider hitting the join button. You can join the Swanky team for 99 cents a month, get access to our exclusive podcasts, exclusive emotes and badges, merch and all that. You can consider hitting the join button, like I said, just 99 cents. Now we are jumping to the number one disc golf cart. And it is, you guys might have guessed it, it's not a Zuka cart, but it is the Ridge R3 Roller or Ridge Roller R3. While I was making this list, I actually originally had the Ridge at number two because of just how expensive it is. Uh, a Ridge R3 Roller is going to run you about $600 to $700 which sounds absolutely absurd and that's what it was in my mind and I was gonna say like I can't put it at number one, nobody can afford that. But the Ridge R3 roller is worth every penny. The R3 is made to order, that it's custom paint, it's custom built, they put all of the attachments on that you want on there. Uh, and that's sort of why it costs so much is that there's so much care put into it but this is absolutely far and away the best build and the R3 is really a box that goes on their Ridge Roller. It's why it's called the Ridge R3 Roller. I actually found a YouTube channel that did a really good review of the R3. I'll link their video in the description if you wanna go check out like a full on full unboxing. It's, it's such a cool cart. It is such a solid build. Like I said, it's gonna be $700, but it's gonna last you the rest of your life. They boast that this thing will hold up to 40 discs which is insane. I think the main compartment will hold up to like 24, 25, but with all of the side pockets and attachments, you get, there's like a cooler caddy you can put on there, a putter caddy, all of these other attachments. You can get like, I mean, a very nice seat cushion put on. Of course, if you don't wanna spend $700 and you spend $100, <laughs> I would recommend making your own cart with maker pipe connectors and EMT conduit that you can find at your local hardware store. Uh, but that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, consider joining the channel, and we will see you in the next one. Stay swanky. So easy. So easy. <laughs>